Wine TV. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another edition of the show. All right, so I just thought about this now. This should be the week before Halloween, which is good because of the name of the of the wine. You probably already tell what it is. So let's see here, today's the sixth, so 10. Yeah. This might be the week after Halloween because while the name of the winery, uh, Casilero, Casilero del Diablo, is a great Halloween wine name, you know I do. I go all out with Halloween. I buy, you know, I, I've done these wines before. So, but I'm I'm looking for other wines, and uh, yeah. So since Halloween's on a Monday, the wines that these would have been would have been the 24th. So. I'll probably, yeah, I haven't decided when this, uh, by the time you see it, it doesn't really matter. I'm just, I'm thinking out loud. Anyway, so let's get into some wine. I'm basically saying these are not the Halloween wines. If I, if this is on the 24th of October, then I'll be producing a special Halloween episode um, to come out prior to it. But this is probably, this probably came out on Halloween, so it won't be the Halloween special. I'll probably put it on the 1st of November. So that I'm not confusing the Halloween thing. All right, so let's get right to it. These wines were donated to me um, by um, uh, Creative Palette. Um, they handle wines from Bonfi and Excelsior Wines, um, Bonfi Vintners. Um, that's out of who's he? What's it? So uh, these wines sell for approximately eleven dollars per bottle. And uh, I won't go through the whole who's he, what's it with um, the the history of the winery because I've done that already at least a couple times with this winery. So let's just get into it. All right, so this is the 2016 uh, Cassiero del Diablo Sauvignon Blanc from Chile. Okay, um, now the Conchi Toro is the is the main is the over you know is the is the winery is the company, um, but this is their uh, was it the the house of the devil is that what it translates to real quick, the devil cellar I'm sorry, uh, the devil cellar uh, brand so yay for screw cap that was just popped off on me, all right so um, I'm gonna give it a slight rinse I mean I don't think there's any red wine left in here because I did give it a little water rinse, but we're gonna do a little rinse there. All right, so entry level from, from uh, Country Toro. They make a wide range of, of entry level to premium wines. So uh, very, very big winery in Chile. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let's see here. And they have some links that has some Halloween party links and um, other stuff. Yeah, I feel bad because I really, I really have other plans for Halloween. So, but let's get these uh, reviewed. Maybe I'll put them on the actual Halloween episode. That sounds like a great idea. Hopefully, I did. All right. So, as far as color, um, just you know, pretty pale straw color, uh, typical of the wine. Woo! Very intense. Very intense uh, nose. Um, this is a wine, if I, if I nosed it, I'd be like, it's Sauvignon Blanc. Now, what I know is from Chile, probably not. Okay. And honestly, I don't really know how I would identify Chile versus, uh, United States, um, Loire Valley and New Zealand. Um, but, uh, we're going to, we're going to try some. 
so yeah, just whew, very intense. I mean, it's good, not, not not in a bad way, but yeah, just that that grapefruit, um, tropical fruit, um, gooseberry, uh, very fruit forward um, nose. Pineapple. Yeah, I mean, just just really intense. Um, a little bit of spiciness to it. Uh, some white flowers. But it's, it's almost all just, just fruit. So the initial hit on the on the on the palate with the flavors is exactly what the nose is. Then I get a little chalkiness on like that. It's a tart and sweet tart type of like you just eat when you ate a sweet tart, you chewed on it. So you got a little bit of chalkiness to it. Um, very you know definitely high in acid. Um, it's 13% alcohol, so it's not burning. Um, definitely not a high alcohol wine. It's also got a little bit of pepper, like bell pepper to it, a little green pepper on, on the palate. This is absolutely 100% textbook Sauvignon Blanc, um, though I would probably call it, I mean, it's New World, obviously, but I would probably call it a California, because I, I don't know anything that would lead me to anywhere else but besides that. I could maybe say, I could maybe make a case for New Zealand, um, but I mean, it's 11 bucks and it's it tastes exactly the way it should. Um, you know, you're not going to go wrong with this if you see this in the store. Uh, I like it. It's very tasty. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you're not going to, you're not going to mistake this for anything else. Which is a good thing. I don't want it to make it sound like it's bad. I just thought about how it maybe came out. I want wines to taste like they're supposed to not not you know try to be something they're not all right so uh this is the 2015 yes 2015 cabernet sauvignon also from chile let me get the little core of an action here i wonder if i should get the faster pour needle that way i'm not sitting here waiting so long for the stuff to pour it's not that bad from running out of gas. Oh, there we go. See my little friend try to land on my pinky? All right. Let's check this wine out. You can't see it, but you know, if I lean back, you can see that there's these lights. The shop lights are just burning me up, man. I should have turned on the AC a little bit lower. One of the rare times I actually can hear, I actually pay attention that I can actually hear the, the wine cooler off to my left. Um, when I do the, when I do these, when I edit this, I can hear it in the background that I create and I do like this, you know, I try to reduce the noise and all that, but usually I don't notice it during the, uh, during an episode, but I notice it right now. Interesting, but it's holding pretty good. Actually, it's a little bit hotter than it should be. It's closer to 60 degrees. I may have to, may have, uh, in the movement of stuff during, during all the stuff being done in the house, the knob may have been adjusted by accident. Oh, well, first color. Very garnet, almost purple-like. Um, not very see-through, but I can kind of see through a little bit. But, um, but yeah. All right on the nose, black pepper, more uh, somewhat peppery. Dare I say even bell pepper, a little bit. Hint of smoke. I 
I guess some red fruits on it. Um, I would call it more raspberry and black raspberry than anything else. Some clove, cinnamon, that type of stuff. So, you know, definitely some oak, oak aging involved here. It just turned off, by the way, depending on how great the noise reduction was. Um, very much the same on the palate as the nose. I'll be honest, I'm not as in, enthused with the wine uh, as I am with the Sauvignon Blanc. Um, I just think, you know, the, the flavors are there. Um, it's like kind of a bitter, like a bitter chocolate to it. I don't use that very often. Yeah, actually very coffee-like. I don't like coffee, but it's okay in wine. Like, I'm not gonna go, oh, I hate the wine because it's coffee in it. Um, yeah. Yeah, actually, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so wait a minute, let's step back. Um, yeah, it's like a roasted coffee, maybe mocha type of thing. It's kind of interesting. All right, here we go. Now the second, the second flavor, the second taste. Getting getting that that green pepper, um, some smokiness. I took a couple sips here. It's getting better. Let's put it that way. The first taste was kind of like, okay, not really impressed. But now, uh, definitely better. I mean, it's eleven dollar bottle of wine. We're not we're not drinking you know first growth Bordeaux here. Okay, we're not drinking Napa Valley you know cab for fifty bucks. Um, it's an eleven dollar cab. All right. But it is from Chile, and typically $11, we're talking, you know, halfway decent quality if you're kind of comparing price points and what they put into it. Um, yeah. Uh, not a lot of fruit on my for me on the palate. Um, it's definitely more of the there's a you know the the bitter coffee, um, the 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 pepper bell pepper, um, spices, um, decent tannin. It's probably I'll call it medium tannin. Alcohol is definitely not high. Probably in that thirteen percent range again. Thirteen and a half. So yeah, we're not talking of a highly alcoholic wine. Um, so you're not going to get a lot of heat. Um, I, you definitely want food. You could do this by itself, totally. But you definitely want some food with this um, if you're if you're having it as for wine. Um, it's definitely heavy enough. Do that. You know, like I said, I don't like coffee, but I could I could picture like um, I, I I've never had it because I would because I don't like coffee, but like like a pork chop that has that's like coffee crusted, right? And you have that with it. Um, if you don't catch the coffee initially, it'll really enhance the coffee flavor from the wine or the wine will enhance the coffee flavor of, of like a pork chop. So I think it'd be great with that type of stuff or, or a blackened pork chop. Um, you could do, totally do it with steaks, all steaks, but I can see something like that. Um, I, I've seen, I've seen it, you know, out there in the, in the market, uh, in restaurants do these types of stuff with coffee crusted, whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty decent. I like the white wine better. There's also some tea. Like I see, I'm starting to like this wine better and better every time I drink some. And this might be the wine I drink tonight with my dinner. I'm gonna have pizza, so I don't know. Anyway, it's pretty good stuff. I like it. If you see it, get it. Um, I like the white wine slightly better. I just think it has more power to it. Um, but this is a little more subtle, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, um, if you, yeah, if you're looking for an $11 bottle of wine, um, and you're, you know, having a holiday thing going on, um, definitely look for it. Uh, it's pretty good. 
All right, that's going to do it for um, this episode. Uh, as always, click the links above to friend me up. Hit the donate button over there to send me some ducats to buy some wine. Links below uh, for the winery. And uh, we will see everyone again next time. Bye.